Online learning, free courses. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how to differentiate your offer from the other best-selling gigs in that subcategory. So um, here is a service that I found um, that's for a gig that I'm about to create um, that's very similar to, it, it's the same type of service. So basically, I found a gig here um, that will be offering the exact same service that I will they um, are offering about the same price points that I'll be offering. And I liked their gig description and how they laid everything out. So I decided I was going to success hack them and I've brought their description into this Word document. So this is theirs word for word. Okay, and then I started recrafting it to make it new. So it's very similar, but it is different. And um, the good news is when I first started on Fiverr, Fiverr was extremely picky and particular with your gig descriptions. So if you, it was a lot more picky on like success hacking <laughs> other people's gigs. Basically you couldn't um, copy a lot of the same text it, word for word, they would uh, you would get like flagged for that. Um, but over the years, with m a lot of new users, I think they've kind of cut back on um, duplicated content. They don't really care about that within gigs as much as just you know, are you going to sell? I don't know, but it's kind of left up to you. So they're less picky about that, which is good for you guys because it makes hacking other people's gig descriptions a lot easier. Now that doesn't mean that you should use everything word for word. You should still make it your own. And that's what we're going to uh, do right here. So I, as you can see, like it's very similar. I will manually submit your article or PDF to the top 50 document submission sites. And mine is I will do manual article or PDF submission to the top 50 document sharing sites. So it's very similar, right? But it, it is different. And that's all that we're looking to do is it can be similar. We want to keep the message the same because again, they got good results here with this. We want to get good results with our gig too. So we want to keep it very similar. And, um, you know, they I, I kept the formatting similar to them too. So they had like, um, this is their title, then they have a subheader, another a little header here, and then they go into describing the gig. I did a very similar thing. I actually did three headers and then went into my gig description. I added a few more details than they had. Um, we are submitting to the same site, so I kept the sites that they suggested the same but I just moved the order around so that it was different for Fiverr's um, on for, for just you know differentiating the gigs um, so that it doesn't look identical but I kept all of the same information pretty much um, even here I think I, I changed this part around a little bit and I took out like PowerPoint because I didn't want to deal with that. So, and then I, you know, I added my own little things down here. But again, I just wanted to show you how similar it can be as long as it's, as long as you're adding some differentiation, right? Um, you can't just go copy someone else's gig and slap it up there. Um, I mean, maybe you can nowadays, but I really wouldn't recommend it. I would still make it your own. You want to add your own flair and language to it. And um, obviously you want to make it personal to your specific gig that you are going to be delivering. So uh, with that being said, I just want to show you that it's very easy to success hack the best sellers on Fiverr 
and take what's working for their gigs and make it work for yours. So join me in the next video as we continue on to create a new gig and how you can go about doing that.